Hi guys, uh, my name is Harmony and I make videos about West Coast living and design. So in the theme of design, today we're talking about how to make your own DIY labels for products. But more importantly, uh, I already made a video about like how to go on Adobe Illustrator and actually do your design and mock-ups and get the right size for your bottles. So if you want to check out that video, I'll link it above. After you have your designs, um, we're going to be using the Fomeo printer to test if this is a good way to just print your labels at home as a one-man show. Um, traditionally, you'd have to go to a print shop and have another third party in the mix of you know your product production, meaning you'd have to go to the print shop and say, hey, I need a hundred minimum order of these labels um, for my product before I go and sell them. But you know, if you're a small shop owner, if you're like doing stuff on Etsy, or maybe you're just selling to family and friends, that maybe isn't a good option yet because perhaps you're just too too soon in the game to want to do hundreds and hundreds of items at once. So that's where this kind of little solution comes in, where you can just easily make your own labels, print them out, stick them on the freaking container, and they're good to go. So this is really simplistic. We're gonna review this product and see if it's a good alternative for the traditional like label printing operation. And um, yeah, if, if you like it, you can also pick it up for I think $60. So this might be a great alternative, let's find out. Let's see how it works. Right off the hop when using this printer, I will say that it's kind of hard to use because the interface consists of two buttons. I don't know if that's gonna focus, but it's just a power button and a print button. And when you push the print button, that's all it does. And so it just kind of pushes one label through. So I'm still trying to figure out how to connect this and that's kind of a point of frustration. This isn't helpful. <laughs> Are you filming me? Yes. No. One week later. Now that we have these connected, which took forever. Sorry, I'm also eating soup. <laughs> um, so let's say you have a candle packaging like this, or maybe you have like an oil or a lotion. So we're just gonna go through this and see how one would create their logo, their label with this nifty little device. So in this case, we're gonna hit new and the dimensions here are 44 millimeters by 30 millimeters. Um, that looks great to me, die cut, sure. Okay, so now we kind of have this little artboard that we can play with. And, oh shit. So now you have this editable field and we're gonna put, no, come back. It's super easy to use, I swear, just kidding. Okay, so let's put, Soy candles, sick. Do we have a choice of font? Nope. Oh, yes we do, we have a choice of font. Okay, so I'm gonna choose between the two fonts that they have for you. And this one looks less terrible, so. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love this interface. Like, yeah, sure, it's easy to use, you can rotate, but it's very boring compared to their other product, um, which is kind of made more for design and, and consumer use. So basically when you're using a phone, I just, I'm editing, I have to say this, there's certain behaviors that we do on a phone interface that we just come to, that, that are intuitive, you know, like, being able to use your fingers to expand or or scroll around and things like that. And I just found this interface was not intuitive at all. Like I kept trying to want to do things like resize with like stretching and stuff and it just was not happening for me. And so I found that really hard to deal with and that is a big criticism of mine. My desk is so messy. Okay, so for the sake of this, let's say that we're gonna draw a little, um, logo. So like, let's say my logo, it looks like this. Harmony, soy, candles. Why does it look like this? I don't know, because I drew a shape. Okay, so now that I have my little shape that I drew, I want to see if I can scan this and then have it bring this image into the, see if I can scan it and bring this image into the printer so that we can print it on the label. Okay. This, I want to delete. If you want to delete something, what you can do is hit the little trash icon 
and it goes away. Okay, so now that we have our, we have taken a picture of our hand-drawn logo, or if you want to obviously download one from like Adobe Illustrator or something that you've already created, you can do that. But for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and go picture, confirm. Okay, so it literally just, so I liked their other product better because what it actually did was it would make an outline of what you had drawn. So it would essentially scan the image and get rid of the paper and like have a PNG almost. And so I don't love that about this one, but okay, now that I have this kind of laid out, I just wanna see what will happen if I print it out. Like I wanna see what it's gonna be like. I have like tiny little, oh. Oh wow, that's a vibe. <laughs> okay, so it came out on the paper as kind of it said it would. But yeah, that, that looks rough. That I would probably rather use for branding is this is their alternative app. And this is probably marketed more straight to consumer, whereas the other one is for business. So this one, it has a fun, playful interface. You can print images. Um, so you can take any of your cringy, embarrassing pictures and put them on there. Okay, so this footage I actually pulled from another YouTuber named Kathy Zelski. So I was really disappointed because I was hoping to get this printer that's more design focused. For a designer, this other Fomio product would have a ton of application because you can print off pictures, you could print off um, like cool graphic design things that are more sized to, to do labels. So I'm not sure what I would really do with the current product that I have and I wouldn't honestly recommend it for the purpose of a small time business owner unless you're trying to do inventory. One thing I really would have liked about the other printer is you could hypothetically draw your logo on paper, take a picture, scan it, and then print it onto your labels. So as somebody who loves to do things by hand and like draw, this is kind of a way to make it less technical than having to go into a graphic design program if you're somebody starting out. The app that we had didn't allow us to do that. This other product hypothetically would allow you to do that. Also, by the way, if you're making product labels, do not take pictures of somebody else's artwork that's intellectual property. If you're gonna take, I'm just doing this for an example, but if you're actually like doing a product that you're selling, you wanna make sure that any images you have the permission to use. So either you've drawn them yourself or you've hired somebody to do it for you. Always hire a professional. Um, that is essential for people to know. This is just for the purpose of this video. So both products come with entirely different apps and everything about them is fundamentally different, right down to the branding, to the application, um, the way they're positioned. And I just wanna point that out because I think it's important to know before you buy. So you can see the difference between two icons. They have this one that we are on and forced to use, and then they have this one, which I would like to use but can't. Oh yeah, so this app won't connect to this printer because this app is associated with their other printer. Let's see what they have for icons. Okay, so they have all the general washing marks. So yeah, I'm starting to realize that this particular product, this version of their thermal printer, is strictly for business. Um, so if you do have a, if you're trying to do branding related stuff, I wouldn't recommend it because, you know, it's just gonna be more like hang tag things. But if you're trying to manage inventory or make more practical use labels, this might be a good solution. So like, yeah, if you have clothing and, and there are certain wash instructions and things like that, um, kind of weird little symbols like an airplane, don't know when you would use that. Oh, unless maybe you're making a ticket, I don't know. My overall first impression of this is I didn't love it, but you know, if you are in manufacturing or you do have inventory problems to solve, this might be a good option. For me, who deals more with like brand and aesthetics and stuff, I, would, I deal more with like packaging and you know, making a label that's beautiful. Not, and more so like the barcodes and the product codes are more things you wanna hide kind of in graphics. Um, so that's kind of my take on it. If you like this please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you found this helpful i do have another label design um, video that that kind of tells you oh we're bringing this hand now that <laughs> adobe illustrator and designing labels but 
um, check that out maybe. All right, bye.